وقل انی ان نذیر المبین اینڈ پروکلیم ٹو دیم ویریلی آئی ایم اے کلیئر وارنر کما انزلنا علی المقتسمین جسٹ ایز وی ہیو سینٹ ڈاؤن آن دیز ڈیوائڈرس ہو آر ڈیوائڈنگ ہو آر دو الذین یجعل القرآن عظیم ہو ہیو ڈیوائڈڈ قرآن انٹو پارٹس عزتن اے پارٹ Divided Quran into part. What does it mean? This is one of the difficult ayat of the Quran and you know there are difference of opinion regarding its interpretation and exegesis. The most, you know, confirming to the text is that you know, some of the mischief mongers in Bakka, the Quraysh, they used to mock at Quran. Okay, this surah is for me. Now Muhammad says this surah has, has been revealed. Okay, you take it. So they were dividing, you know, and distributing surahs of Quran to each other in, in a mocking way, laughingly. Okay, okay, you take this, I take this. Just as, you know, we find when the ayah was revealed in Surah Al-Muddassir that on Jahannam there are 19 guards. They said, one of them said, who was a very big wrestler, okay. Well, I'll hold 10 of them. You, you just arrange for the rest of the nine, you know. Muhammad says only 19 are guarding that Jahannam. So actually I'll be enough for 10 of them at least. For the rest of 9, 9, now you, you can arrange for it. So in this way they used to laugh at the ayat of Quran and mock at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So one you know, interpretation is this. The other is that here Quran means Torah. That was also Quran given to the former Muslim Ummah. بیکاز وی ہیو ایٹ ادر پلیس دی آیا ان دی قرآن لن نو منا لہاظ القرآن ولا بلزی بین یا دہی دے سیڈ وی آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو بلیو ان دس قرآن او محمد وچ یو آر پریزنٹنگ اور نار وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بلیو ان دی قرآن وچ واز پریزنٹ بیفور سو دے کال تورات آلسو قرآن سو بیکاز دی دی جیوز دے ہیڈ ڈیوائیڈڈ تورات تج علونہو قراتی ستبدونہا و تخفون کثیرہ وی ہیو ریڈ اٹ یو ہیو یو نو یو ہیو made it into sheets separate sheets and some of them you produce and some of them you are concealing so this ayah refers to them in one opinion and the third opinion is that it refers to the Muslims who have divided Quran among themselves they believe in some part of the Quran and reject the other part of the Quran they believe in prayers because it has been made obligatory by the Quran but they don't give up usually or interest although it has also been forbidden by Quran. So do you want to believe in part of our book and reject the other part? So this is also a third interpretation. By your Lord, we shall ask all of them question, all of them, they will all be brought before us. And we shall take stock of them. About what they had been doing. They will be held answerable and responsible. Now proclaim loudly, O Muhammad, what has been ordained to you. Because you know, in the very beginning, the preaching of Muhammad was from one person to other. Person to person, person to person. But now the order came, first now be over. Now proclaim loudly. And then he stood over the Mount of, you know, Safa and he gave a public address. First now be over. War is done in And just turn your face away and ignore these who are associating something or someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna kafayna kal mustazayin. We shall suffice for you from against all these who are mocking on you, who are cutting jokes at you. Who are associating with Allah, other gods. Very soon they will come to know what is, the, what is going to be the result of, of their belief. And they oh Muhammad, we very well know that your chest shrink, shrinks in distress on what they are seeing. They are saying, in the Majnoon. And you have to hear these words. We very well know these words are hurting you. And you, you, you know, your chest, your heart shrinks due to distress. 
فصب ہم جرب کا وقم ساجدین سو گو آن گلوری فائنگ یور لارڈ ود ہس پریس اینڈ بی امن دوز ہو پرسٹریٹ فصب بسم رب کا بکر تم و سیلا و من اللہ فس جد نہ ہو و سب ہو لیل طویلا ان دی ارلی سوراج نو دیز انسٹرکشن ہیو بین کمنگ فصب بحم جرب کا وقم من ساجدین سو یو شوڈ گو آن گلوری فائنگ یور لارڈ ایڈ ود پریس تسبیح ود پریس سبحان اللہ و بے ہم دہ سبحان اللہ عظیم دس از دا لاسٹ حدیث آف صحیح بخاری لاسٹ حدیث کل متان حبی بتان الرحمان خفی فتان السان ثقی لطان فلمی زان سبحان اللہ و بے ہم دہی سبحان اللہ عظیم دے آر آر ٹو کل مات وچ آر ویری ہیوی ان دی اسکیلس on the day of judgment they will have very very high weight very heavy weight but they are very light on the on the tongue you can just go on repeating and they are very loved by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kalimatane habibatane ila rahman saqilatane fil mizan khafifatane ala lisan subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah alazim glory is all for allah and he is with all his praise Now this is the remedy, the hurting that is coming to you. Now this will give you the cooling, you know, the solace that is required. For you, for your, your feelings are hurt and injured. But this is, the, this is the medicine that we are prescribing for you. You will be able to endure all these things, bear all these things. You will be able to persevere. How for sabbih bihamdi rabbika wa kum minas sajideen. وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَعْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ And go on obeying your Lord, worshipping Him, loving Him, serving Him, till Yaqeen comes to you. Now some of the mystics, you know, they have taken this in the literal sense, Yaqeen, as if Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi himself had not got the Yaqeen up till that now. So this is not acceptable at all. So this Yaqeen has been interpreted by most of the Mufassireen, as death the most certain thing for a human being is death nothing else is absolutely certain except death so yakin means death till death you have to go on doing it and that is why we see that the prophet sallallahu in his last days also you know some of the mystics you know of certain order they give up praying Now it is not necessary for us. We have already purified our souls. So actually all these things are required for the beginners. No prayers, nothing of this. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kept praying till the last day. You know, so actually all these things. Wa'abud rabba ka hatta yati ka liqeen. You have to continue this praying and glorification of Lord and praising Him and prostrating before Him till death. And the other meanings which have been taken are till the end of the disbelievers till that azab comes that is also certain that this they are going to be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al-azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakim